but we brought it back. <laughs> We'll have yeah. to see. Oh, we're jumping in, guys. Uh, five to one, potentially up against. Who is that? I can't tell just yet. No, there was a team very close by, but looks as though they've immediately gone in the opposite direction. However, Alliance and EWG, they're very willing to fight. EWG nine using that Takeda ultimate to try and peel for himself and his teammates. But it's not looking too good. They have lost a decent amount of health and only one Furin Blast left to go. And there it is. It does get used. And now the F1 is going to come out. He's going to try and jump in and save his teammate. But he's too late. 14 already gets taken down. And now Lane getting a huge double parry onto 9 and XG. Revenge is going to take chase him down. And he's not going to be able to escape. And now it's cleanup duty for Alliance. They're looking to pick up their third kill. But DRG says no. The ACOS team comp coming in. Jumping in ferociously. Gonna try and bite at Alliance's heels. But they're having a tough time. They do take down one. But Alliance is not going down without a fight. Exai gets a beautiful... Oh, no. Exai gets parried. The bow gets the beautiful parry. The, the Fear and Blast is gonna come through. Preventing FZ... F WF said, I'm getting all my names mixed up. There's so many letters. Bo trying his best to stay on, stay alive, stay on his feet. Oh, WFZ thought he still had Aikos ult, but not to be. It did expire. He is getting overheld. The horizontal does come through, though. Doesn't look like he has grapples. Wasn't able to go for that tra the traditional grapple combo. Alliance trying to waste as much time as possible. Gets a bunch of damage, but the F3 from the Weishan is going to stagger him up and take him down. And the top teams did not come to play, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to see JDG fighting against J-Team here pretty quickly. Good top dodge of the Tesla ultimate there. JDG ZDI is going to end up going down to J-Team's ice here. We're going to see J-Team picking up their first kill of the game. But Fun Plus Phoenix coming in with a nice third party to shark away the kill. We are seeing the Bane getting dropped. J-Team loving these Banes. Early game, they've been using them to their advantage to try and pick up a couple of kills. J-Team is on three eliminations. We are going to see them try and go for a res of their teammates. Um, able to get ZE up. Ice is going to be a little bit more difficult because they do know where they are and they're going to try and keep range pressure up onto them as you see these cannon shots already coming through. Looks like they might need to leave Ice in the wind for a second here as a fully looted Fun Plus Phoenix is going to be very difficult to fight against, especially in the 2v1 without ultimates. We do see TE's Han waiting in the wings as well. J-Team's Ice looks like they are going to have to let this body fall and go and take to the other way. But Fun Plus Phoenix saying that they want this kill. Going to try and surf into the Bane here. It is taking a little bit of damage. It looks like that Lee did not have enough resources to come away with the kill. But oh my goodness, the Bane dealing some damage too. ZE is going to end up getting caught out by what looks to be the Viper ult and Lee, the last remaining player on the Matari, is going to end up getting hit with the Charm. Ice coming back around. It looks like he was used his resurrection might have been a little bit of a misplay here because they are getting shark down pretty quickly j team's lee gonna try and back out ice seeing what he can do but lee gonna go down this is getting pretty upsetting here ice gonna take a lot of damage the peel coming in from leo on that hottie ultimate is just gonna deal so much damage and ice goes down te coming in with the third party kills and wiping j team out it looks like they might have two resurrections available but one of their teammates is not gonna be able to come back into this they are gonna need to buy their teammate Ooh. back so uh it's getting a little bit risky here it is indeed know. wbg on three fun plus phoenix on three as well though so 60.5 points ahead is jdg so uh th there is a huge kill race going on right now and we are seeing the desperation of these players coming out very fast here as jjh and te start to face off mm, indeed j team if they're gonna if they have any chance of qualifying they're gonna have to get that zai up on her feet as soon as possible as they need to get 20 something kills to have a chance at making it in but te they're on an absolute tear right now T's leo in that hardy ultimate looking to try and take down flames Ooh, wait did, i'm not even sure if he connected that but the wuchen ult is gonna come through to save the day yet again and there exactly what i was talking about you can cancel the hardy ult to try and conserve some of that charge and i think that that might be uh, that might, in fact, be the reason why we're seeing the Hardy getting picked up over the ACOS at the moment, as he did receive the buffs and now is is somewhat useful for his teammates when picked in trios. But we're taking a look at EWG going up against B.
EBE, Fat Milk sending the blue into nine when he has that F1 active. A big mistake, big dog. And Fat Milk is going to get absolutely blown up. The milk has gone off and he does get taken down, unfortunately, for BBE. And it's not looking good. I think. Oh, no. Okay. I thought that the Valda didn't have the res, but it looks as though all of them do, in fact, have their rebirth still available. So they are going to be able to res somewhere else and uh, try and make their way back into this game. EWG sitting in 12th spot right now, already on four eliminations. I have to say, it is. Highly unlikely that they that they that they're going to be able to uh, actually qualify at this point. They but they're twenty two points and come away with the victory. Yeah, I mean it's well, I mean it's hmm. it's possible, but it's difficult. It's going to be very hard, very very hard indeed. Especially I mean, realistically... with DRG and TE with a total of eight kills combined, already putting so much pressure on stealing potential kills that these teams need to advance into this. It's going to be extremely difficult. Yeah. I mean, if it's... thing is, the, like, it is only... Uh, it, they are the kills from the early game, though. So, like, they're kills that were that were picked up on people that likely had their rebirth. So it's not like the players are out completely. So theoretically, it's possible, but it's going to be very hard. And we've got JDG here up against TE. Two tick. Now popping that Valda ultimate under pressure from the Hardy LYD is also under a little bit of pressure here the valda spear does come through onto leo and a beautiful parry to boot as well but then there exactly the cube coming through even when the ultimates already expired the cube persists and as long as uh, i mean it, i'm not exactly sure how much longer it lasts two but i'm pretty sure it's about 30 seconds two tick got every single member of te in that valda spear one was underneath the shack one was F, uh, <laughs> F ability away, and then the Feria mech was the last player in the in that ult. Crazy spear. They weren't able to capitalize too much damage off of the spear itself, but they are going to end up coming away with three eliminations, taking TE off the board and removing their resurrections from the game. Mm, I think, uh, yeah, they they all the Feria survived, and then the other two had their reses. So, yeah, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to keep that loot they got in the early game, but they are going to keep their lives for the moment. FPX, another team in contention to qualify. Lurking, spotting out EWG there. I'm not sure if they want to immediately engage, but on the other side of the map here, we've got JDG and J Team in very close proximity, all in the storm here as well. Not the best place to have a, uh, have a skirmish. It looks as though they all just wanted to go shopping while they still could. Realm of Yang is going to be spawning in as well. And I'm not sure how many teams are looking to go in to this Realm of Yang. We do have one coming out from Alliance. Alliance looking to try and snowball, scale up. But so far, they've gone uncontested. FPX lurking on the outside here. Not sure if they want to go in just yet. Oh, a team does go in. They are going to get matched. There they are, Alliance up against DRG. DRG, one of the heavy hitters of the day so far. Initially in first place, have now dropped down to uh, to second or third. Alliance bow taking to the skies, grappling up, trying to find an entry using that F1 now, dropping down on top of the Yueshan, not finding an opening just yet does get chased by the LMB on the staff. Wushin trying to engage onto him. Bo does get caught in a bad situation. Now forced to use that ultimate WFZ with that pounce coming in. Locking him down for the moment. Forcing out the Furin Blast. The zipping coming in with those scale rushes. Unfortunately not able to peel that much for him just yet. Bo scale rushing away but the Ueshan is on his tail. WFZ having healed up is now looking to try and follow up with his Ueshan. The tiger grab goes wide wide just used for the mobility it seems revenge not phased by it whatsoever wf said now out of ultimate does take a lot of damage has to use that f1 forcing out the the tumult wisp goes to the skies wf said now in that ferry ultimate doing some damage with the ferrier turret shots bow taking quite a lot of damage the multi defiance proc 
has already come through from that zipping ultimate. Now Bo is going to have to try and disengage. The turret shot goes wide. Unfortunately, doesn't connect. Bo still on his feet, able to keep moving. DRG XI does go down, though. WFZ not able to peel in time. Unfortunately, Revenge now desperately trying to tap dodge every turret shot. And now it's a one versus three. And WFZ is in a pretty rough situation. Gets the blue focus onto the enemy team there. Now forced to use that F1, trying his best to stay alive. Potentially, he can stall out here. But he sends the blue into the parry and gets taken down by Alliance. Beautifully done by this team. Able to stall out and use their zipping very, very well there. Able to cancel halfway and cast at 70%. Able to out-sustain this fight. Very nicely done. Yeah, perfect sustain on the fight. We saw Bo go extremely low. And the, the finish is that they were able to get them to that point where they were within one hit of getting eliminated and then they weren't able to finish with that fairy turret or with any follow-up damage that from any lockdown from these other players which was very unfortunate for them drg are going to be on that yang depletion now and you know it's fair enough this is a team that alliance they do need a lot of kills to secure their spot here so they're going to be fighting their lives out drg team that doesn't need any more kills but uh you know it would make things a lot more interesting if alliance were the ones on yang depletion at this point in time because then they would have to be racing against wbg to try and come back into this game where uh yeah wbg on yang depletion this is going to be crucial moment for them here as they need to respawn fast get themselves three eliminations, get themselves these soul blooms, and come away with the kills for that, putting them up ahead of Alliance. Because right now, they're very, very close to Alliance. But if they don't survive this Yang depletion, they are going to be toast, ruining their chances at the spot of qualifying for the NBPL Spring Split Finals. Fun Plus Phoenix Ooh, as well, indeed. doing their best to climb up. They're trying really, really hard here. They, they want to climb up. Oh, it looks Ooh. like it's going to be a Yang depletion fight coming out. WBG and EWG said, let's respawn right next to each other, and we're going to go right at it. We're going to see EWG is doing a very good job at baiting these players into other areas which is where they were scouting it out a little bit earlier. It looks like they might try and bring them into a, a no-ult zone, hit that Temi-ult like they did last time against J-Team. It looks like right now, though, we're going to be fighting out in the open here. F3 going to get invested from Sleepwalker. We're going to see EWG's players taking a lot of damage. Baiji, though, getting it pretty low, losing almost all of his armor, getting back through the... Oh, my Lord. A lot of damage. Sleepwalker now getting extremely low. This could be terrible for them. They're going to be forced to back off here. We do see that Matari ultimate coming out, helping them just a little bit. But the sustain coming out from the Kurumi all EWG doing an amazing job. Oh, no. Oh. Dangerously low here. Great job of tap dodging here. Oh. But the 1.0 from EWG's 9 and the fan going to take out Sleepwalker. Baiji going to go down pretty low as well. Ace Yao also taking a lot of damage. We're going to see one, two, and it looks like... XG as well, gone out pretty quickly. So one Yang depletion cured from each player in the 2v2 scenario. Who's going to win this? EWG's 9 on the blue fan. Going to try and make something happen with these charged 1.0s. But Baiji using that 1-2. Trying to come in with a peel is Ace Yao here. 14 coming through with a pull sword. Double charge into a follow-up. Able to get the damage off coming around. Baiji lifting. Oh! 1.0 Ace Yao doing a perfect job with the huge parry coming up. Able to get the kill. Baiji getting that ultimate back from the Matari. Now it's a 1v1 situation. Baiji with the uppercut combo into the guaranteed 1.0. Into the ultimate again. But we are going to see the Takeda ultimate come out. Trying to go for the 1.0. But EWG's 9. It's going to go out. WBG's Baiji's going to get the kill. And he's going to be able to hold on for his team. Last remaining player. Seven eliminations on the board. They're getting so close. But they've only got one player left. Will they be able to do it, ladies and gentlemen? This is getting absolutely insane. Flumplots Phoenix going to be able to pick up the kill now trying to pick up the kill on to Roy Shishi. Oh my goodness guys, what is going on? Roy Hee Hee with one sliver of HP left knocking them out of the race for good. They had a good run. Six eliminations now. J Team trying to do the same thing. Alliance trying to hold their own into this fight. We're going to see Ice getting dangerously low here. 5 to one going to get completely eliminated. They're out of the race here. Z with a huge parry onto Alliance's bow. Revenge getting dangerously low as well. J Team's Lee trying to make something happen on the Oh my lord! We're going to see Bo go out ZE getting the pick. Revenge getting dangerously low. 2v1, 3v2 situation here. Lane going to get brought dangerously low as well. If they go out here, it's going to be it for Alliance. Alliance getting up the What's going on? 
Duncan, Duncan, explain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So many things just happened. WVG comes down to the wire. And so oh my god. Baige able to clutch it up. Securing their spot for the time being. Able to bring them that much closer to qualification. Eliminating one of the teams that was just going to grief all of their chances potentially. EWG taken down, unfortunately. But then immediately afterwards, Alliance and J Team scrapping it out. J Team needing those eliminations. Alliance hoping that they can survive through it and come out on top to cement their their placement in the top six. But unfortunately, just not able to do it. Ice getting a huge, huge chain wave onto all three members of Alliance. And J-Team coming out on top, getting that much closer. Now Alliance, desperately, they're going to be hoping so, so much that WBG gets taken out here as they are just one or two points off of taking their spot. WBG, literally 2.2 points behind Alliance. And if they survive a little bit longer, it's all over. And Alliance will be eliminated. FPX also in contention, sitting on six eliminations, but they have a little bit further to go if they want to qualify, but they do have this Draco Storm and they're going for the engagement. Going up against DRG, WFZ on that ACOS, managing to come in with that Tiger Grab. Corky, not sure if he wants to go for the heal up or immediately go for the damage onto WFZ, but they've already taken down a member. Corky now jumping over to try and pick up the Soul Bloom, getting his second ultimate up and ready to go. Wu Shin does get clipped by it, but he does has, have his ultimate available, so he is going to be able to iframe through it if need be. WFZ now getting taken dangerously low. Wu Shin able to come in and come for the heal, the peel, the Corky with that beautiful jump parry onto WFZ, taking him down. And now Alliance are sweating in their Boots, ladies and gentlemen, DRG, they don't really care at this point. They're pretty much, they're pretty much secured in the grand finals. They're just going to buy a little bit more time, potentially drag the FBX into the zone here. We should get a little bit of damage, but it's absolutely over for him. And FBX pick up three eliminations. Now three points or 3.4 points behind Alliance. Two teams so unbelievably close, and Alliance can't do anything about it. And J Team's there too. Like, they have 52.4 points. If they, by some miracle, have an insane end circle, it, it's really going to come to how many kills are going to get distributed in this end circle. Lots of the times we see there's. There's different scenarios for the end circle. There's one team wiping everybody out, like we saw WBG do with the Xi last game. There's people dying to storm, nobody getting these final zone kills, and bad terrain, griefing everybody. And then there's the spread out kills. If the kills get spread out uh, between the teams, it's going to be very difficult. But if one team comes through and pops off and steals all the kills, no, J Team's ice is going to end up getting very low and going down to XCG. They were able to come around and come away with the elimination. J Team aggressive onto these players, but it looks like it's going to be very difficult for them to come away with this elimination here. NiHQ trying to make something happen onto ZE, able to get that charge RMB off onto them. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sad day, and I must now take off. No. Oh, it's rough. It's so rough. I'm so sad, actually. It was possible. Sle I can see Seb taking off the jersey. It's coming off, guys. J-Team, although they tried their hardest, it just wasn't enough. All those games where they didn't, they, they just didn't play as a team. You know, game five, we saw in that end game, only like, like it was only the viper running around trying to make things happen with no real follow-up from the team they didn't stabilize they didn't play together and they just you know they, they tried it was it was possible but they just like one too many mistakes leading yeah. up to this point and, and it, hopefully first... it's a lesson 
Well, having the you know. first three games, the first two, three games, only getting two points as well. Like you're not doing any favors for yourself, putting yourself in that position. You start the day at the lowest spot as well. It's very difficult yeah. to be able to come away with a victory in that position. But now we've got Fun Plus Phoenix and WBG both in contention for this spot. They're going to get you know, hyper it's... aggro. It's possible that they could uh, they could both get in as well, no? I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, JJH or JJH or JDG have to uh, underperform, but they are on, I believe, seven kills right now. So uh, it is going to be difficult. Uh, but if JJH were to go out or uh, JDG, I believe, which one, whichever one um, is in that. Yeah, I'm not sure which one it is. It's one of the J's. Alliance. They have to be able to. They have to go out quickly here. If they go out fast and don't get any more kills, and both WBG and Fun Plus Phoenix decide to pop off in these final circles, go into second end game, and then circle six and seven, we'll witness history and we'll see these two teams overtake. Right? Alliance going out early is huge. Right? Now a second team going out that early, even bigger for them. So uh, next time we're gonna see the scoreboard, we'll give you a little bit more in-depth talk about what's going on i believe yeah it is jdg in that position that are on yeah nine i think you're right. eliminations so they have a lot of kills going for them right now and so if they're able to carry these kills into final circle they might actually even climb up higher than the team in third place which i believe could be jj it's it, the jays are confusing all over here ladies and gentlemen <laughs> we are getting to our sixth game the uh the brain rod is starting to settle in just a, just a little, little bit. Um, but we're still here giving you action-packed energy. I think I might have lost my voice on that, that one. You, you, that you went a little crazy there. there. You went I, a little crazy there. I got excited. What can I say? We were we were ready to go, and uh, it didn't go the way that we wanted it to in the end. But it was a valiant effort from a valiant challenger. No pun intended. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, to be honest, it was... Like EWG, it was kind of just unwinnable. You know, they they didn't really have a shot at qualifying. They just wanted to do the best they could in uh, going into the fifth, in, into the sixth game. You know, and that's definitely to be commended. It's very commendable. Just continue trying your hardest. You know, and it's it, it, like to just go to go down without a fight is somewhat shameful. You know, but uh, it, good for them. For uh, for coming in and doing their to, from doing their best, and it it is what it is. It is what it is. They still did a solid job. They were doing very well in this game. And it did come down to a very very close fight at the very end of it. I have to say though, I was surprised that WBG, you know, like they they killed two members of EWG. So, but the thing is, when the uh, when the the second uh, the second player went down for WBG, he went down fully. So mm -hmm. it looks as though Baige actually picked up both soul blooms. I think um, of uh, of EWG. I'm not sure if he did it deliberately or 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 unintentionally. Accidentally picked it up out of habit, you know, to uh, to heal himself up. But you know, I mean, to be honest, it could have been what won them the fight because he did end up getting the ultimate back. At the very end, so who knows? We'll never know. But what we do know is that WBG and FBX are so unbelievably close to eliminating Alliance here. And JDG have... is have... uh, is also. I mean, well, thing is though, JDG and JJH are both so close to each other. So yeah, JJH could go out. JDG could pass JJH, and then WBG and FPX would take JJH and Alliance's spots in 5 and 6. So th there's a lot of ways that this could go still, and that's why we play the game to the very end to see what's going to happen. There are <laughs> only 5 minutes and 53 seconds left for the rest of these guys' careers in the MBPL for this spring split. So they have to fight their hearts out, and they're, they're going to wait to the last possible moment to do so, but... The best plan of action would be to try and get XCG and TE out first because that TE is your biggest threat right now. JDG and TE are your biggest threats. Getting them out mm, of the yeah. game would be ideal. Getting JJH out as well, not letting these teams that are above you pick up any kills. And then 
WVG and FPX in a final circle 1v1. You know, that's that's my ideal game. But uh, <laughs> I mean, know, it, it does also make sense in the way that TE and uh, JDG both have the UA shun. You know, JDG also has that Valda, which inherently is going to do much better if it comes down to that very final, final circle, zone. Yeah. yeah. So they're, like, it, they're going to have the they're going to have above. advantage. Exactly. They're going to be able to reset those health bars. But now going into this final zone, it is. It is gonna get, it's gonna, I mean, it's gonna boogly. get very spicy, oogly boogly very soon. Um, but none of these teams want to be the first aggressors. You know, like, you don't want to, nece you don't necessarily want to be the first person or the first team to engage as you open yourself up to third party, especially if you use cooldowns to make it happen. You don't want to burn your cooldowns, burn your ultimates unnecessarily as other teams will take note of it and take full advantage of that situation. Oh my yes. lord, it's getting close. It's getting so close. Everyone's getting pushed together. The cannons are flying. TE does get does get pressured here. They do get caught up by this Tessa ultimate as well. LYD is going to get stunned up, but he has his UA channel if he needs it. Looks as though he's not going to go for it. He's going to be able to make it back to his teammates for the moment and survive. FBX Water now, they're going for the engage, they're going for the pressure. But look, see right here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Water uses his ultimate and then the team immediately jumps on top of them afterwards. Forced to use that Wu channel, but now oh, they're no teleporting way, no up way. into another team. The V3 from JJH Flames is going to come in and prevent Water from doing anything. It's not that he really had all that much in his, in his, at his disposal. Anyway, but still, he does get pushed into the zone, and he does get taken down there. And this might be the thing that ruins their chances of qualifying. Yeah, and Fun Plus Phoenix now in a very tough spot. Looks like they might actually be able to get water back Ooh, Okay, this okay. Is, this could be huge here. Getting back into the zone here with a sliver of HP to their name. JJH is godly on the side there. They could try and go for that shark kill. I don't think they know that they're there. WBG is but gonna pick up a second gold armor players, though, yeah. voting very well into their favor. Having that is gonna give them a very big advantage right now over these teams that are gonna be trying to invest their transformers pretty early here as JDG's two tick trying to send some shots off in the Faria mech. Two tick is gonna get a look at how much rage is already back on that farrier ult, almost back at full percent in the ult. Sutik is going to end up being able to go for a quick reset here, and then having that Volta ult on standby. TE's LYD going to go out to execute. Ooh, LYD! You going to get taken out pretty early here as all of these teams starting to funnel down into the bottom. LYD going to go down. We're going to see Nia HQ getting very low, as well as Kakashi. Where Pun Plus Phoenix wants to commit, capitalize on oh, this kill. They're kill. picking up one here. They get one of the pills. Quirky gets a kill on a No, the Alliance are now! They passed Alliance! They're now in the number six position, but they need to hold this place. Otherwise, no. they'll be able to pass the Nye HQ here. They're trying to pick up the kill onto him as well, but JDG's ZDI is going to come away with the kill with a huge parry. Fun Plus Phoenix's water going to get the kill onto XCG's Kakashi. We're going to see the huge Viper Stun coming out now. Sleepwalker trying to make something happen. They have the material invested. They also have the Zyle going out. F3 going to come out. They're trying to get the kill onto water here. YG getting the pick on the water. This is going to be huge, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to come away with the spot at the end? Alliance already down. One point difference between WBG and Fun Plus Phoenix. JJH already fully eliminated as well. This is going to be very difficult for them. The Volta ult coming out, dealing so much damage on the follow-up here. JDG ZDI going down. We're going to see another kill from WBG. Oh my they're god, no! They're going to get stuck here. JDG's two take now in the Volta ult. FPX is out! Him. FBX is gonna go fully eliminated. They fall down. They have the same points though. We're getting knocked back into the zone though. Fun Plus Phoenix is gonna get knocked out. They're tied. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. They do have one remaining player. So it is gonna come down to the wire here. TE with one remaining player. JDG with one remaining player. WBG, the only team with three full players. Dong Ching needs to survive as long as possible. Sleepwalker getting the pick no. on two. JDG's two tick. Dong Ching getting knocked into the storm, taking so much damage here. Needs to get away from this oh. one HP and a dream. Just needs to go out after Leo. If he goes out after Leo, he wins. We're gonna no, see wait, what happened? Goes out and Leo goes out second. I don't think he's gonna be. Wait, FPX is gets eliminated. Oh my goodness, we need to look at this. I don't, I don't know what just happened.